Hi and welcome back to another Football Share Review. Today we are looking at the Lionesses World Cup away shirt. This shirt has been purchased from zvbest.com and took seven days to arrive. And I know it's seven days because on 17 track when you put your information in there it actually tells you now from the moment it was dispatched to when, you del when it got delivered to you how many days it took. So this shirt, as you can see, I have got Lucy Bronze on the back. Um, for people who have subscribed to my channel and have seen the, the review I did of the home shirt, and this one again is for my daughter, so obviously had to get Lucy Bronze on it. Shirt itself comes in a standard night bag, and on the flip side, it does have the health warnings. Now the home shirt did include a pair of shorts, so it'll be interesting to see whether this one comes with some shorts as well. I'm not overly sure, in all honesty, um, but we'll have a look once we get the bag open. Details for the seller of zvbest.com can be found in the description of this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel as I do these sort of reviews on a weekly basis. If you leave any comments, questions or messages below, I'll always get back to you. So yeah, I thought it would be a good time to have a look at this World Cup shirt, especially as the Lionesses have jetted off and I think they've landed today um, in Australia. So it'll be good to see what this shirt's like. So I'm going to get this bag open and we'll have a look at the Lionesses World Cup away shirt. And we sat at the top of the shirt looking around the collar line. Stitching looks nice and tidy around there. I do like the split in the colour actually. The dark like navy to the lighter blue. Moving around under the arms looks nice and tidy. The Nike emblem that has been embroidered in. Likewise the England badge has been embroidered on as well. I'm not sure whether the official one actually is embroidered on or if it's been like heat pressed on. So yeah, I've not actually seen the official one yet. And that's more so because I've not just been to the shops. Stitching looks good under there. We have the number two, which has been heat pressed on. It does seem a little bit see-through, which is a shame. Usually I think this is a lot more thicker, so you wouldn't see the pattern behind it. But when you're further out, it's not too noticeable. Bottom, we have our engineered. We've got our code. And the hemline looks good. Yeah, it looks nice and tidy. Give you the full overview of this England away shirt. I really do like this one. The Lionesses have been really lucky actually with the shirts that they've had created for them. Okay, as we move to the back of the shirt. Stitching on the collar line looks good on the back as well. Sometimes that's where you usually see some mess up in the stitching, but no, absolutely perfect. Moving it under the arm again, stitching all looks tidy down there. So you move to the hemline on the back. Yeah, no concerns at all. There's a little bit of a join there, but I wouldn't be overly worried by that. As I said, we do have a name and number on this one. We have Lucy Bronze, so we've got bronze heat pressed onto the back, and that's put on nice and smoothly, actually. No marking at all. And the number two has equally gone on just as well. I do like what they've done with the breakup of the England crest in the middle there. Although, again, like the number two on the front, it is a little bit see-through, which I'm assuming it shouldn't be like that on the official one. Um, but for the price, you cannot fault that at all, really. Not concerned by it in the slightest. What we'll do is we'll flip it inside out and we'll have a look at that. Okay, we're now on the inside of the shirt. And the collar line doesn't look too bad. A little bit of extra stitching around there, but that will soon cut off and will be absolutely perfect then. The joins and the seams look all good. Stitching looks fine around there. As we move down to the bottom, yeah, that looks all fine to me. Started twisted there. That's just where I wasn't able to flip it inside out properly. Quite a lot of extra stitching, extra cotton around there. But again, a pair of scissors will tidy that up if you're really that bothered by it. The England crest itself is 
got on quite well. You expect to see the, the additional bit of cotton up there, just where the join is, and the night tick is again one of, probably one of the best ones that we've seen. There's a number two here, which you can see where we said it's been heat pressed on. Nice and smooth, no creases. The only creases in this is where the shirt has been in the bag. Go on the final part of the inside of the shirt. Again, some additional cotton up there, which will soon cut off. This has all been heat pressed on, size 28. Her age is 11. So that's the sort of size that I buy for her. So we'll have breathe Nike tag. Again, this comes with a plastic tag, which is always a giveaway, but these are replica shirts. Our washing instructions are down here, hand wash only and flip it inside out, especially as we do have, just move that out of the way, the name and number. And that's been heat pressed on absolutely lovely. Can't feel where that is at all. You can see it, obviously, but you cannot feel it. Again, some additional cotton down at the bottom, but scissors will soon sort that out. So there's a little bit of extra cotton on it, but nothing to worry about in the slightest. So this shirt did come with a pair of shorts as well. Got the England crest on there, which has been embroidered on. Likewise, the night tick embroidered with the heat press number two. And actually, that number two looks a lot thicker than the one up there. Maybe it's because it's not got the pattern behind it, but it does look thicker. The banding down the side looks nice and tidy. And likewise, on this side. One thing I will say about the shorts, they seem to look a little bit longer. I don't know if it's just the way that I hang them out or not, or lay them down. But they do look relatively long. Got the pull string in there. But yeah all looking nice and tidy. I do like the fact that you get a pair of shorts with them as well. I think that's really good for the kids. So there we have it, our England away shirt for the World Cup, which is gonna be kicking off at the end of this month. Absolutely love this shirt. Um, I said at the start, I think I might even say it in the, um, in the home review that I did, that the Lionesses do have some lovely shirts created for them. And they are so lucky with what they have. And when I see this one was available, I had to jump on it and get it. And I know I did have one of, um, one of the people who watched my videos did say, could I do the review on it? So hopefully you're still around and watching because yeah, here it is. And I absolutely love it. Um, zvbest.com is a seller. Details for them can be found in the description of this video. Really happy with the delivery times of seven days. Can't fault that at all. The shirt has got a little bit of extra cotton on it, um, but scissors will soon sort that out. So I'm not worried. Everything else on it is absolutely perfect. And for the cost of this, compared to if you're going to go and buy it in the, in the shops, it's a big difference. So yeah, details for the seller in the description of this video. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I do these sort of reviews on a weekly basis. If you can leave any comments or questions, I'll get back to you. If there's any shirts you'd like me to review in the future, please do let me know and I'll look again. So thank you very much for watching this one. So I hope you have enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.